Since the dawn of time, humanity has asked itself a question that has sparked great fascination, what is beyond what we know? What exists beyond the limits of our universe? The answer is incredibly complex, but the James Webb Space Telescope has discovered something so vast and fascinating at the edge of the universe that it could revolutionize physics. So what exactly has the James Webb Space Telescope discovered at the edge of the universe? Why are scientists so excited? We invite you to join us to explore how this telescope discovered something huge at the limit of what we can observe. If you want to stay up to date with news from the universe and its environment, subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to like this video and turn on the notification bell. Albert Einstein developed the theory of gravity that revolutionized Newton's theory in 1916 and applied it to the universe. This theory shows that the universe cannot stand still but must move, expand or contract. In 1929, astronomer Edwin Hubble observed that galaxies were moving apart due to the Big Bang. This is the expansion of the universe, where the distance between galaxies is constantly increasing. Einstein's theory could easily explain a universe that is infinitely expanding or curving itself like the surface of a balloon in a higher dimension. Some people believe that the universe has had limits since its birth in the Big Bang 13.82 billion years ago. Therefore, we can only observe galaxies whose light has traveled less than 13.82 billion years to reach us, forming an Earth-centered sphere of space called the universe. Observable Pillar In reality, the universe is 92 billion light-years across, and the limit of the observable universe is the cosmic horizon, similar to the horizon of the ocean. We know that there are countless galaxies out there, but their light has not yet reached us. Can the James Webb Space Telescope see the edge of the universe? Hundreds of times more powerful than Hubble, it can detect the faintest infrared light from the earliest galaxies in the universe, as well as planets and other stars in their habitats. However, we do not yet know what the telescope will observe when it is pointed toward the edge of the universe. The universe is divided into observable and unobservable, where the observable is anything we can see by detecting radiation with our eyes. The limit of the observable universe is the cosmic microwave background, which occurred 13.8 billion years ago. The universe was then as opaque as a thick fog. Some experts believe that there are gravitational waves and neutrinos from more distant locations, although this cannot be verified due to lack of technology. Cosmologists argue that to better understand the universe, we must consider what we observe as just a small part of a larger reality. The discovery of galaxies like Abel 2744Y1, located at the edge of the universe, could help us better understand this reality. Although this galaxy is so far away that it took 13 billion years for its light to reach us, scientists were able to observe it about 650 million years after the Big Bang. The Spitzer, Chandra and Hubble telescopes explored the galaxy together, each using different parts of the electromagnetic spectrum to collect data. By combining data from three telescopes, astronomers can see galaxies up to 100 times farther away than any one telescope could see alone. Astronomers from the Institute of Astrophysics of the Canary Islands and the University of La Laguna used the Hubble Space Telescope to explore the galaxy Abel 2744Y1 and calculate its distance and number of stars using the Gott Spitzer. They also used a technique called gravitational lensing, which works like a magnifying glass to focus light from distant galaxies onto galaxies closer to Earth. This galaxy is small compared to our own Milky Way, about 2,300 light-years across, but it forms stars at 10 times the rate of the Milky Way. The redshift of the galaxy Abel 2744Y1 is 8, indicating that its light has been pushed to redder wavelengths by the expansion of the universe. Before the discovery of Abel 2744Y1, the most distant known galaxy had a redshift of more than 7. But astronomers have discovered something even more distant, a supernova called DES-16C2NM, identified through a study of dark energy. Supernovae are huge explosions that represent a star's last effort before it dies. To understand how stars work, we must observe their deaths. Massive stars burn large amounts of nuclear material in their cores, releasing a huge amount of energy. 
This energy creates pressure that prevents the star from collapsing. When you see a star in the night sky, there is a balance between two opposing forces. Massive stars are in a constant battle between the force of gravity pulling them inward and the energy released by nuclear burning pushing them outward. As the star runs out of fuel, it begins to cool and the pressure drops, allowing gravity to take over and cause the star to explode as a supernova. This process happens quickly, in just a few seconds. Supernovae can also occur when two stars collide. Supernova DES 16 C 2 NM is extremely rare and was discovered in 2016 by a multinational team of astronomers. The star was a type 2 supernova, meaning it reached the end of its life and exploded in a catastrophic explosion. The explosion is thought to have occurred about 10.5 billion years ago, and its light has been reaching us for more than three quarters of the universe's history. Due to the expansion of the universe, supernovae are much farther away than the naked eye. The star DES 16 C 2 NM is especially interesting because it is a dark supernova, meaning it does not emit much visible light and is therefore difficult to detect. However, it can be detected using telescopes that can see the infrared light emitted by the supernova. The team of scientists who discovered DES 16 C 2 NM also had help from three powerful telescopes, including the Magellan Telescope and the Keck Observatory. It took five years and more than 500 nights of observation to identify this distant supernova, which was a significant challenge. However, the team's efforts were worth it, as the supernova's great distance will allow them to study and better understand superluminous supernovae and the causes behind these giant cosmic explosions. A supernova of the magnitude of DES 16 C 2 NM, or any other Type II supernova, would have significant consequences for the surrounding galaxy and possibly even the entire universe. The explosion would release a huge amount of energy, mainly in the form of neutrinos and photons which would interact with surrounding gas and dust to create shock waves that would travel outward at speeds of thousands of kilometers per second. This shock wave would heat the surrounding gas and dust and emit a burst of radiation detectable over a wide range of wavelengths, including visible light, radio waves, and X-rays. In addition to the burst of radiation, the explosion would also produce heavy elements such as iron, gold, and platinum, which are essential to the formation of planets and life as we know it. These heavy elements would be scattered throughout the surrounding galaxy, enriching the gas and dust and providing the raw materials for future generations of stars and planets. Overall, a Type II supernova like DES 16 C 2 NM would have far reaching consequences for the surrounding universe and play a major role in the evolution of galaxies over time. By analyzing the ultraviolet light emitted by supernovae, scientists can determine the amount of matter created and the temperatures reached during the explosion, which is important for a better understanding of these events. One difference between this star and Betelgeuse is the type of supernova explosion they had. DES 16 C 2 NM is a type 2 supernova, which occurs when a massive star runs out of fuel and collapses in on itself, causing a catastrophic explosion. On the other hand, Betelgeuse was expected to eventually become a Type II supernova, but it is currently classified as a red supernova and will likely explode as a Type IIP supernova, a less powerful and less catastrophic type of supernova. Supernova explosions of the magnitude of DES 16 C 2 NM or any other Type II supernova would have significant consequences for the surrounding galaxy and possibly even the entire universe. Today, Experts are looking for other distant supernovae and those that might be discovered in the future. What do you think lies beyond the end of the universe? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.